A birthday celebration turns deadly in Queens. A 27-year-old off-duty school safety agent was killed and her two friends were wounded when a gunman opened fire outside a bar in Astoria. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lanz is live with the latest on the search for the shooter. Shante. Lauren, her name is Mai Johnson. She turned 27 years old yesterday and just two days before Christmas, she was shot and killed, leaving behind a seven-year-old son. Evidence markers were scattered across Steinway Street, an early morning shooting Thursday where police in Astoria, Queens, were investigating the death of one of their own. The victim has been identified as NYPD school safety agent, 27-year-old Mai Johnson. So any loss is uh, a substantial loss to all of us, and we, uh, you know, extend condolences to her family. She had a seven-year-old son, um, you know, so it's uh, especially uh, troubling since uh, it's, you know, a couple of days before Christmas. Johnson was a school safety officer at JHS 117 in Brooklyn. She was out on medical leave since July of 2020. Police say she was shot and killed outside of Saletto's lounge. She was there for a birthday party. My last baby. Her friend was also shot and another man. They were rushed to area hospitals and are expected to survive. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad for both of them. Hours later, detectives search for evidence. It's unfortunate. You know, this is a great neighborhood. This doesn't happen here. Neighbors say they're starting to see an uptick in violent crimes. It's getting crazier and crazier uh, by the month. I don't know. Hopefully, you know, the, the next administration comes in with, uh, you know, units that can get the guns off the street because this is just ridiculous. Meanwhile, police are just focused on finding the shooter. There is an enormous amount of video being viewed right now. This white BMW is also tied to the investigation. It's not clear if it's one of the victims. Meanwhile, there was a gun recovered here. Police believe it may be possibly tied to that victim. As far as the suspect, police say that he was last seen somewhere in New Jersey. And the big story tonight, a 5 Fox 5 going one-on-one -on -one with the brother of the local man gunned down in Turks and Caicos. Kent Carter, the vice president of Arlington's NAACP chapter, was killed by an armed gang while on vacation. And now his brother wants to know why U.S. government didn't do more to warn people about the ongoing danger on the islands. Fox 5's Tom show live tonight in Northwest D.C. with more, Tom. Good evening, Barry Cantrell is Kent Carter's half-brother. It was just days ago on September 28th that the pair were celebrating Kent's 40th birthday before he left on a vacation trip. Now, Carter's family is planning what they say will be two funerals, one in Arlington, Virginia, and another back home in Knoxville, Tennessee. It was on October 2nd that Carter was murdered during a vacation on Turks and Caicos, but it wasn't until yesterday that the U.S. State Department issued a level two travel advisory warning Americans that, quote, widespread and organized crime is present in the country and local law enforcement has limited ability to deal with those crimes. Talking to Fox 5 today, Carter's brother says he wishes the State Department would have warned people earlier and it might have saved his brother's life. I just wish that somebody would, they would have gave more notice, like if you were booking a trip, he would at least know what she's getting into, you know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, my brother, we were both military, prime military. He, you know, he, he I think he would have took a lot more precaution. Kent and his girlfriend Alana were being driven back to their hotel after an afternoon of jet skiing when the vehicle they were in was ambushed by an armed gang. Now, in addition to Kent Carter, there was one staff member that was killed in that attack. Now, Barry says he spoke with Alana last night. She is recovering from her injuries, but he says in this time of great grief and great sorrow, the one thing he says that is keeping the family going is the outpouring of affection and love for his brother. Till I came up here and, and seen his uh, friends up here, I didn't realize how much, you know, more he was doing. And and just the fact of, you know, the NAACP and, and the other organizations he was in, he was a busy, you know, busy man with real estate, but he was still giving time to others to help others. 
This is a death that is affecting a lot of people in this region. The State Department's level two advisory, we should tell you, is not the highest level. That would be a level three, which warns Americans to reconsider travel to a destination. Barry tells Fox 5 they still do not know when his brother's body will be returned to the United States. We're live at the State Department tonight. Marina, will send it back into you. Four women from Dayton traveled to Fort Myers this week for a birthday getaway, but their trip took a terrible turn when the strength of the hurricane tore down the roof of their room, killing Michelle Harris Miles. Michelle and Rochelle ain't just my cousins, they're like my sisters all my life. And she's not here. A tragic end to a Florida vacation when four ladies traveling from Dayton to Fort Myers for a celebration became trapped in their room during Hurricane Ian. We coming home. We are in a hurricane. Chanel Mastin recorded her experience on Facebook Live to check in with loved ones as the water began rushing in. Me, Roro, Nini, Quita, and Chanel is in a hurricane. We strapped ourselves to each other with a sheet laid on the mattress that water came out that floor so fast so quick the roof was smashing us as the roof continued to fall mastin says her cousin michelle harris miles was fatally struck who was trapped under a house a nail pierced her main artery she just turned 40. September 23rd, she just turned 40. She had bad days after her birthday. The three others in the room, including Mastin, were able to escape after being trapped for 14 hours. If I could pull her back up there, if I could have went in there and pulled her out, I would have. I swear I did not want to leave her there. Instead of celebrating Michelle's 40th birthday, friends and family are now honoring her memory. She loved everything, holidays, everything. She loved everything. Anybody that she do anything for you, she get it. She loves life. She loves life. Mastin returned back to Ohio this afternoon, an emotional journey. Mastin says she is now trying to recover her cousin Michelle's body from Fort Myers. Reporting live, Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5. Now at 11, traumatized friends opening up about that deadly birthday party shooting in Inglewood. They gathered to remember the four people killed as the fifth victim fights for his life. Police calling the shooting a targeted ambush. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is in Inglewood tonight with new information. The investigation continuing into the night and so is the search for those suspects. Here at the scene, the grieving continues. Two sisters among those gunned down, their family gathering here, pleading for help finding the killers. Gathered by candlelight, family and friends mourn two sisters gunned down in an ambush attack at a house party in Inglewood. Those kids living life, just trying to have fun, celebration, celebrating life, and it was cut short. Brianna Steins turned 20 today. She was celebrating her birthday with her big sister, 25-year-old Marnesha Hamilton. Both of them studying to become nurses. Authorities say several suspects burst into the party and opened fire. One of them armed with an assault rifle. Everybody got along with them. They just, all she wanted to do was celebrate her birthday and the sister came to be with her. And just beautiful ladies, beautiful young ladies. Five people in all shot, only one survivor. The two sisters and a male victim found dead inside the home. Two other men rushed to the hospital, one dying on the way. Authorities say the sole survivor is a known gang member with a lengthy record and the apparent target. This was a targeted ambush, gang related. It was not random and it was related to the people that were expected to be at that party. Neighbors say the owner of the home rented out on Airbnb for parties and say it has been a constant source of problems. And it's now the scene of a quadruple murder. The victim's family and community members urging the public to come forward. We're asking our community to say what happened. Somebody knows besides those who came and did it and knows who ran dead. This lady lost two kids in a matter of minutes in one night. You know something, say something. At this point, it's unclear exactly how many suspects were involved. The mayor promising justice for all of the victims. In Inglewood, Liam Suter, ABC7 Eyewitness News.
First of all, all praises, honor, and glory to the Father Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Ruach Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day for worship in the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. Let's get some worship, honor, and praises as well as rest in my people. We, ne we definitely need to do these things in these troubling days, okay? These last hours of this dispensation in time, okay? Now, I'm not here to come down on anybody for celebrating birthdays, okay? But I'm here to tell you that the Most High is definitely against self-gratification of honoring yourself just as though you are someone that's basically higher than him. As if you will honor another God, you understand? And a birthday is actually, I know a lot of people may not want to understand and look at it like this, but it's actually a way of honoring yourself on a specific day just like any of the days like the sabbath for example for honoring the most high the feast of tabernacles whatever you know um that is in the law as to honor the most high the most high said that he will have no other gods before him and when you celebrate a birthday basically that's what you're doing you're honoring yourself and you are exalting yourself as a God. And the Most High does look at that as being before him. And see, it's not by coincidence that just these few videos that, you know, I've shown prior, you know, uh, had something to do with the demise, the birthday itself had some celebration of the birthday had something to do with these people demise. I'm just going to come out and say it. I do believe that. I am so glad and I thank the most high by Hashem was shy that he woke me up, you know, to, to know better and not to celebrate, um, the, these, uh, traditional traditions of man. Just say that. Cause that's what it boils down to. A birthday is a tradition of man just like the holidays are. You understand what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You know, but I understand, you know, whenever a, a, a person comes to bring truth, he tends to step on the toes of some people that may not want to accept that truth. And the thing is, is this, they may get an attitude about it. You understand? Before we get into the scriptures, I just want to show you uh, a comment that was left on the page, you know, on the last video that I did about the young lady that, you know, went to, uh, well, well, yeah, she went to Florida during uh, Hurricane Ian and, you know, she was basically put to death while selling her, celebrating her birthday, you know, when a nail to, uh, when the ceiling collapsed some kind of way the nail in the ceiling or something like that pierced this woman's heart okay so let's i just want to show you this particular comment now here uh yeah let me see yeah dating woman killed by nail celebrating her birthday during hurricane ian okay now uh i have brung up some of the very same things I'm finna touch on. I brought these eight things up in this particular video. And Mo Rowe here, you know, that's he, whoever uh, his avatar is. You know, he I guess he didn't like it. But whatever. You know, I'm here to tell the truth about what time it is. You understand what I mean? But it says here, uh, this is what he had to say. Conflating a birthday celebration with idolatry is one of, of the most ignorant things I've ever heard. God also said to be fruitful and multiply. Can't do that without birthdays. <laughs> You're straight up delusional and a false prophet at best. That's what he said. Now, first of all, let's get some understood. I am not a prophet. All of the prophets 
that the Most High chose that were seers to write his word has passed on. They're on the other side doing whatever they're doing. You understand what I'm saying? But what I am as an extension of the Most High's word that was written by the prophets to bring out here for the people. You understand what I mean? For the Most High's glory. That's what I am. You understand? And anybody else, that's what they are. They are not prophets. The original real prophets is passed on. Okay? Number one. Number two. <laughs> what are you talking about? The Most High said, be fruitful and multiply. He did say that. That's got nothing to do with celebrating a birthday. Okay? That has nothing to do. He said, be fruitful and multiply. Bring forth children. Okay, I guess, you know, be fruitful and multiply. That's what we're doing. But what the hell does that have to do with celebrating a birthday? It doesn't. It has nothing to do with it. So, as far as I'm concerned, whoever this Moro is, you are delusional. And you need to get some knowledge. The most high is knowledge. Now, when I answered him, I said, at Moro, first of all, I'm not a prophet. And obviously... You're the one that's delusional because if you can't see that self-gratification in the eyes of the Most High is wrong and he's against it, then you may just be a potential two-third. So on that note, Moro, you need to go. That's just all there is to it. You understand? So you got a lot of people that get offended when you come to them uh, or whatever and... Uh, Tell them something that they don't want to hear. But he ain't got to accept it. Just keep on doing whatever you want to do. But when the Most High check you, you'll know what time it is then. Okay? That's what it is. Now let's get into some scriptures. Starting here in Proverbs 27.5. Open rebuke is better than silent love. Okay, so then this is what it means. Open rebuke means it's good that I tell you about something, get on you about something that you may be inadvertently doing wrong, then to actually keep it be silent. Well, no, I want to hurt their feelings because I love them. No, what I'm supposed to do is correct you if I know better. Because if I don't, guess what? And you die, your blood is on my hands. That's what it all boils down to, okay? Now we go over here in Colossians 2.8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men and after the rudiments of the world, and not Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's so self explanatory right there. I don't know how much clearer it can be. You understand? The, tra the traditions of men is not holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, uh, 4th of July, and birthdays are not traditions of men and rudiments of this world. It's all vain. It's deceit. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it is. Now, if we go down, let's see here. I'm thinking I'm just going to go. We I already touched on what I wanted. But what I'm going to do is go to Jeremiah 10 1. Jeremiah 10, 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Here we are. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut a Christmas, well, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hand of the workman with the axe. They're talking about Christmas here, Christmas trees. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. 
that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also it is in them to do good. This is all vain. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's saying the tree, it, the tree is just a tree. And it doesn't mean anything. But what you're doing is celebrating and honoring in this so-called name of Christmas. You understand? Just like a birthday. The Most High does not like this. See, we got to understand. We got to get back into his ways and do what pleases him. Because when we don't do what pleases him, it's detrimental to us. Not him. See, John, let's go to 1 John chapter 2, verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Okay? That's what it is. This stuff... We're, we're, the way we're living right now is not of the most high. You see, Christmas, all of these, these, these damn holidays and birthdays, the most high is against the traditions of men. In order to be blessed and be delivered, first of all, we have to repent and have a new outlook on life and transform our mind. That's just what it is. Deuteronomy 12, right here. Deuteronomy, let me see, Deuteronomy 12, 30. Okay, that's what we're going to go right here. We're going to read this on down. Take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them. Now, the following them, who are you talking about? The heathen and his customs and his ways to continue. After that, they be destroyed from before thee. And that thou inquire not after their gods. Say it, that's Santa Claus. <laughs> you understand? Saying, how did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Thou shalt not do so unto the Lord thy power, which is God, Yahweh. For every abomination to the Lord which he hateth have they done unto their gods. For even their sons and their daughters they have burnt in the fire to their gods. That's Molochism, people. That's another tradition that they were practicing. You understand? Today is called abortion. To continue, verse 32. What thing soever I command you, observe to do it. Thou shalt not add thereunto, nor diminish from it. Okay? It don't get no clearer than this, people. You understand what I'm saying? It's only right that I bring out the truth when it comes down to these birthdays. You understand? Now, we've seen hard evidence, you understand, as an example for us not to follow in the ways of the heathen. That's just what it is. We got to shed all of this stuff that we've been programmed to do and get back to the ways of the Most High before he comes as if you want to be part of the one third. That's if you want to inherit the kingdom thereof. That's just what it is. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular lesson right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. I hope you found this lesson edifying. You understand? And if you don't agree with what, what I'm saying, hey, that's your right. That's your choice. You understand what I'm saying? But know this. When you don't agree with what the word says, then you are not agreeing with your heavenly father. Not the one who brings it. 
Now, of course, nowhere in the word that it said you are not to celebrate birthdays, but with the common sense, the common sense, you know from the spirit, once you find out, if you are feeling convicted, then you know it's wrong. You know it's wrong. Just like it with the rest of these dang holidays. That's just what it is. So tell me what you think. I'm interested in your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.